So we've got uh, two people holed up in a house down here. They got the door barricaded. Y'all cover the back here. If anybody come out of there, you guys take them down. Police were able to gain entry. If they didn't find any drugs, whatever they had uh, was destroyed. Good work. <laughs> All of the stuff that's going on is crazy chaos. I mean, that's why we're here. So I'm just going to call Curtis right now and let him know that, you know, this is critical mass here. We need to get something done. A lot of the people here are afraid to talk to us, but we did get some information. The drugs are coming from the Kensington area. There are two major crews out there that's transporting it down to the Stanley Village apartments, and the money's going back to Kensington. The only people out are the drug dealers, so there's definitely an urgent need. I got boots on the ground right now, so just, you know, give me the go. All right, look, Kensington's right nearby. Just put that pedal to the metal. Take one or two of those drug boys down. You send a message that we mean business. Come back safe and sound. All right, thanks, sir. Our mission is twofold. One, we'll run undercover stings to bust the dealers who are preying on the community. Two, we empower the residents to take back their homes. Look, you take out a nickel and dime drug slinger in Stanley Village, boom, another one takes his place. But we gotta go after the suppliers, and that's back in Kensington. Take him out, and we damage the supply. Everybody line up on the wall, facing out. Arms length across. We're gonna send two undercover guardian angels into some of the drug hotspots to see if they can be approached by a drug dealer. This is the belly of the beast. This is where it's going down. But we gotta be sharp, every last one of us. What I'm gonna do is designate third rail and flute as our plainclothes guardian angels. If someone approaches them, once they see the drugs, they can signal us and the guardian angels will come in and make a citizen's arrest. We call the police and go to court and testify if needed. How you feel? Break! It is dangerous here. As guardian angels, we don't have any bulletproof vests. We're uh, unarmed individuals. If it means we'd have to get physical and make citizens arrest, so be it. Turn right. right. If we don't step up, more people, especially in Atlantic City, are gonna continue to live in fear. Let's make it happen, let's make it happen. This is the waiting game right here. I got eyes on rail, he's at the back of the train steps. I see him, I see him. Look, okay, we got two possible drug dealers. So our plain clothes, guardian angels are gonna walk towards them and hope that they approach them. These guys are out here carrying guns, they're carrying knives. That's why we have to keep an eye on these guys. I think we got something, I think we got something. Roll up, roll up. Go, okay. Go, 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 go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What's up? This is the deal right here. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, all right? Listen, listen to me. This is your opportunity. You got dope on you, you give it up. I do not sell dope. My sister died from dope. Listen, listen. See the right there? That's a felony. I know that. Sir. How many what bags else you got? do you have? How many bags? I'm not going to lie to you. I got like four more on me. Put it on the ground. Let's put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. Don't touch it. Don't leave it there. It's not dope. What is it? It's coke. It's cocaine. Did you just purchase it? I don't, I don't, I don't do this. I don't but you were selling it. I don't do drugs. The guy that we just took down had the same bags as they had in Stanley Village. Call 911. Informer, he's being detained by the Guardian Angels and we need assistance. Yeah. You ever been in the joint? Dude, I got two years parole right now. Man. Well, guess what? Your parole is just violated. Make sure you guys run. How you doing? Came up on this guy, looked like he was doing a drug deal. Drops a bag, what he says is cocaine. We get him on the wall, he says he's got four more bags in his pocket. We just had our first bust. Oh, yeah. Got a guy with five bags of cocaine. Remember, every time you take one of those drug boys down, you're helping Stanley Village. Uh, Scott just got a call from an informant of his. Yeah, we got a target on our back right now. Um, there were a couple of guns in the neighborhood, but apparently now there's a lot more, and they're going to be aiming towards us. Just flex, let them know the guardian angels are there. We ain't going nowhere. Let's go, guys. We're going to drive those drug dealers out, one way or the other. We 
have six new recruits here, which is critical because we have to get the residents to want to take back their community. And we're going to show them how. What's your name, man? Barry. Barry. Okay. And your mom said it's all right for you to get involved? So you can run? Because if somebody starts shooting at us, I'm going to need you to chase them for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him a jacket to get him rocking with us tonight. The reason why I'm in the Guardian Angels is to be a role model, especially in a black community. And I feel that I can make a difference talking to some of the younger people out there. One thing about the Guardian Angels, when you come to join us, we put you right in the streets. One of the six that we have here tonight training is a young man that's 16 years old named Barry. So what we're hoping is that he makes it through the three months worth of training. It's gonna be scary at times, it's gonna be dangerous at times, but we're hoping he stays with it and becomes an actual guardian angel. As we go along, we get more training, but the first night they just showed us how to take away knives, how to take away guns, because there's a lot of people around here with weapons. We're on red alert because we got a threat. You know, the drug dealers will know we're out here. At any given time, a shot can come towards our direction. And by having new recruits with us that's not trained, it makes it very dangerous because I don't know how that new recruit is going to react. 